All right, it's a like title theme or game over theme from Link to the Past. I remember that or Zelda one. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is weird because it doesn't make a dingly noise or anything, but. Oh, that's on. Uh... Hmm, it works, it works, it works. Not bad. That's a pretty good song I just made up. You've got a good sense of melody. We'll play my new song at the next show. Take this and thanks. You're not thinking I'm stealing your song, do you? It's actually not very well translated, although it could be chalked up to the fact that it's just speech. Anyway, what do I need? Uh, that's good. I don't really need the ocarina, but I'll probably use it anyway. Actually, yeah, that sounds cool. And I actually did get everything in here, unlike the Gerudo Fortress. Yeah, this is really minimal teleporting, but it is faster than walking, so... Whatever. Not a huge deal either way. Oh great, it's still night, isn't it? Great, like like city. Here come the like likes. I don't know what the deal with all the rocks is. I mean, I guess it's just for decoration, but it makes me think that I can bomb them, although you can't really bomb things very well when they're underwater. Anyway, this needlessly complex area is about to become a lot less mysterious because this huge cliff area is over here is for one heart piece. I forgot to say, but I really do like that one heart piece. It seems like simple, just a ordinary heart piece, a little too much work, but it does show like the band dynamics, which I think is pretty cool. Just giving a little extra bit of personality to all the characters is always a good thing, I think. Maybe not the best thing for a Let's Play, which I'm probably not the best player to have, like, super great thoughts on things. But I'm also probably a little harsh on myself, so who can say? I want this fish. Is there even a fish there? It's hard to tell. There are definitely fish in here. Can I have one? Yes. I got a fish. Can I have another one? Fish. I got another fish. And now I just need the hook shot and the magic bean and the ocarina. So really I should have done it like this. And now for a needlessly needless needle. I mean, what? I want to kill this like light because it's a jerk. What? No! I didn't know that happened. No, my shield. I like how it plays the battle music for a little bit and then stops. I thought it's supposed to stun them. Oh, well, luckily that one hit KOs them because the Gilded Sword is in there. I winced. And actually, since I need to be going over there again anyway, might as well just do like this, which totally negates the purpose of anything, but whatever. There are more fish in here, right? Great, I got it somehow. I should be a Zora again, but damned if I do something the easy way with five seconds of downtime and transforming and switching items when I could do it. A way that wouldn't involve switching items, but takes forever. Uh, okay, yeah, so much for my little spiel there. Zoran it up. There are a lot more fish here than I remember. I thought I could only find, like, one, but they do sort of freaking blend in pretty well. Fish, 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 fish. Come on. You should be like those nice Zora egg folks. Fish. 
fish. This shouldn't be hard. Okay, cool. I got a fish. I don't think you're supposed to be doing it while they're like at chest level with you. Like I am on Azora, so it's not quite hitbox mechanicing right. I don't know. I seem to only be getting them near the sides, which is why I said that, but... Okay, now I can get those things I was complaining too much about having to switch out to. And I always have my ocarina in the... left C-stick, don't question me. Bah! Can I get up here? No, it's like, really, it doesn't look like you should be able to make it, but you can just barely get up here. Like this. No idea why I'm saying that. Like a moon and a juna and a springer. I'd like to sing it. Ah! And more meanderful hook shotting. What's that up there? Ah, no, no, no. No, I thought you were gonna not fall down all the way, you jerk. This just in Link is a jerk. Jerk. I wish you could, it really looks like you should be able to grapple onto that kelp and then climb up. But I'm a baby who does not like having to ever redo anything. And I probably shouldn't have done that if I didn't like redoing things. But that's beside the point. And I should probably stop spamming the phrase that's beside the point in my let's plays. But ironically, that is also beside the point. That was weird. Anyway, I was trying to look at what's up here. Looked like there was a thing up there, but I think it was just the polygons polygoning and not being exactly even. Grand. And look, another thing for magic bean, and I do think this is the last time I'll be forced to use a magic beam in my run through. I do think there are like rupees you can get with other ones, but I don't care about rupees. And I had to wait for a little bit, despite the fact the game pauses while I'm in Ocarina mode, so it's probably not going to register because, oh well, the first time I tried to do that, I did it like right when they were beginning to sprout and it didn't register right. Not sure what was up with that. Anyway, the beautiful song. I'm trying to tap it much faster than it'll let me tap it, so that's bad. <laughs> I like how Tattle freaks out when that happens. Anyway, another heart piece, and I'm pretty sure those are the only two. Maybe I'm wrong. My guide is a jerk if there was one in Icana Canyon that it neglected to mention, and it feels like there probably are. There is one place where you can summon them in Snowhead, which is a little weird. Anyway, why was I collecting five fish, you ask? That might be a legitimate question, since it's sort of a weird heart piece I'm going after that I don't think is, like, one of the most obvious ones. Pretty clever puzzle, sort of. Almost makes me wish I'm not a jerk who looks up things in my strategy guide. But uh, I don't know. I've never, never really even tried like 100%ing Zelda games without a guide, since I always just sort of got a guide for them because I around the time I stopped buying guides was around the time they stopped making new Zelda games that I felt the need to 100%. I mean, I guess there was Phantom Hourglass, but I got bored of that by the time I got, like, 14 hearts, and I think there were only 16. Anyway, you dump all your fish in here. I'm going to do it all at once and have the cutscene stack up because there's a slight delay between the cutscene and... Oh, I guess not. Anyway, pretty cool. Nintendogs-esque minigame. Oh, I'm not sure if it's, if it's possible to glitch this so you have to use more than five fish. I assume it's just five. Anyway. And what else will I need? I guess... Balls. I didn't even go to the... Pirate when I was in that area, but that's not a huge deal. I'm not sure why I accentuated huge like that. I'm not sure if that's the right use of the word accentuated, but... Heck balls. Anyway, three more fish. That one's getting bigger. Okay, this isn't going as smoothly as it should have gone, I don't think. Maybe it is, I don't know. Okay, no, it's 
ranges from five to like seven or something. When one of them gets big, it'll eat the other one and cough up a heart piece, but game dicked me out of that. That was weird. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably more like me dicking the game over by dumping a million things in it before it had a chance to think about them, but meh. I don't really know how that's supposed to work. I hope I didn't glitch it up so I can't get it somehow, though. I don't even know what I'm talking about. No! Okay, that was unusual. I'm going to say that two more fish will cut it because after that it'll start impeding my progress, and by impeding my progress I mean blah, and by blah I mean blah. I wonder if I can do something like uh, this. Yes, I can. I'm great. Wow, I mean, seriously, I'm freaking great. He could never comprehend such mad skills as such I had. 